Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm sharing with you a few quick Halloween decorations that I made for this year. And the first one is this Boo Halloween sign that I made for my craft room door. So I have a seven inch by seven inch wood frame from Joann's and I'm just painting this white. The actual color is Snowflake by Martha Stewart and it's a very beautiful bright white. It's worked well in all the projects that I've used it in. For the paper flowers, I used lavender and light orange. I made 36 flowers in total, and I am going for a witch theme, which is what I will be dressing up as to pass out candy this year. I chose purple and orange because it reminded me of the witch's socks with all the funky colors, so I thought this was a brighter sign to make for my door. I typically go for, I typically go for blacks, and so this was something that was much brighter, and I wish gluing and making paper flowers was as easy as it was in this uh, video when you can speed everything up. The tiny leaves are a cut file from Fox Sisters on Etsy which I will link below. It did take a long time to cut out the flower, uh, the leaves. It did take a long time to cut out the little leaves in my silhouette because they are so tiny but I think the effect was exactly what I was going for with the tiny little lines in the leaves. And for the flower centers, I just used a salmon cut file that I made. I have a video on it on my channel. And I'm putting together the boo letters and then I'll be gluing this directly onto the sign with my hot glue gun. I just decided that that was the easiest way to adhere the letters and it's just made out of cardstock so it's not anything heavy. I wanted it to cover some of the flowers that I made. The next project that I have is a cardboard tombstone that I made from a shipping box that I had. And all I did was just tape this box up with masking tape. You could paper mache this box, it just takes more time than I was willing to put into it. So I just painted it black um, and let it dry. The paint was easy to dry since it was on cardboard. And then I just added a nice big gray crack in the middle to make it look a little more detailed. So I just added these cracks and then let that dry. Because I'm doing a witch theme, I cut out an epitaph for the tombstone that says Here Lies the Witch out of vinyl. It's Orc House 651, I believe. And I'm using contact paper like I did before just to transfer the vinyl onto the cardboard. It did come up fairly clean, so that was nice. I have been playing around with small little mini templates, and so this is a new template that I made. So I made three flowers, one is larger than the other two, and then I decided on a center later on for this flower, which is just simple black outline for the centers and two leaves on the side. So basically all I did was just glue these on and then adhere the vinyl to the tombstone itself. And all in all, this took about two hours. It really didn't take much time. Most of that was drying time. And I really love the end result. So the next project I have is this 100% That Witch banner that I made to go over my mantle scarf. It does reference the little Lizzo song that I thought was so witty, but it turns out people are even saying 100% That Witch. But I used this tombstone here that I hand drew. It looks like toast. I had meant it to be like a tombstone. So unfortunately, it does look like a piece of bread. But it did take a long time to put together this banner. I did use a lot of foam tape and little tiny pieces were really hard to glue quickly. So I am just showing one piece being put together. This was probably the most labor intensive thing that I made out of all the things that I show. I did use a lot more of the adhesive roller rather than glue because I just don't like to wait for wet glues to dry. And I did have to cut a lot of tiny pieces of foam tape, but overall the effect was really nice. I liked the way that the foam tape made a lot of the elements stand out. And this was a really fun banner to make, it just took a little bit longer than I expected. The strips of paper with a uh, hole punched through it is actually not my idea, but you can string the back of your banner with it. I, if, you, if you started that idea, let me know. I'll give you credit down in the comment section. I just saw that somewhere and I can't remember where. The next two projects I worked on were a flower set and a 
flying bats. These bats are hand drawn and I cut them out with my silhouette cameo. And all that I do is I fold the wings so that it looks like it's flying when it's suspended in midair. And I'm taking thread and I'm gonna glue that to the center of the bat and have the second bat glued on top of that. So that it gives it a little bit of heaviness with two pieces of cardstock. And so when it's hung in the air, it looks like it's flying with this wings sort of beating, but then also it doesn't just blow if there's just a little bit of a draft. For paper flowers, I'm not showing a tutorial, but I used my Dahlia template or template 25, template 14, and then my medium sized rose. So those were most of the projects that I worked on. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Halloween.